The Daily Show recently held a focus group of black New Yorkers to gauge their intentions for the 2024 presidential election. To everyone's surprise, the group split evenly between those supporting Donald Trump and Joe Biden. The conversation revealed a deep sense of disillusionment with the Democratic Party and a growing skepticism about its unfulfilled promises. Okay, so who will you be voting for in 2024, Daryl? Do I have to say his name? I don't want to, but more than likely it's going to be Trump. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Who are you going to be voting for? Biden. And then Victor? I'm with her. Oh, Biden, okay. Trump. Eric Trump? Biden. Biden? Trump. Okay, we're an even split, <laughs> oh. uh, which... <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think there's going to be a big shift, any sort of change? I think it's going to be a big shift. Me too. Big, big shift? shift? Yes. Big really? Shift. Okay. For me, I've always been a Democrat. And it's like, for, for, for the most part with the Democratic Party, they always make a bunch of promises that they can't okay. deliver. You know, they use the issues of the African-American community as a soapbox to stand on mm -hmm. and make promises, you know, just to get us to come out and vote. And then once we vote and everyone's in place, it's like, well, what happened? There's a mounting cynicism toward the grand promises made by big government and the political elite. This focus group's disappointment with the demo I mean, our granny, partiturity, our party echoes a broader conservative critique. The system overpromises and underdelivers. People want real, tangible results instead of empty rhetoric. The participants' dissatisfaction signals a shift toward conservative values, favoring action-oriented candidates even if they're controversial. Some black voters in the focus group are considering a move from Democrat to Republican, reflecting a conservative belief in evaluating candidates based on their performance and policies, rather than party loyalty. It's a call for voters to assess candidates on their merits, not just their affiliations. The focus group's openness to Donald Trump highlights a conservative preference for effective governance over strict, ideological alignment. It's a pragmatic stance, prioritizing perceived efficiency and results over party lines.